three, two, one, let's go. Uh, yeah, so we're doing something a little bit meta, meta this time. Um, <laughs> we messed up the audio real bad. We finished Little Nightmares like a month ago, uh, but we had problems and yep. figured the best way to do it was just to comment on watching ourselves play it. And yeah, basically what happened is that the game volume uh, when we recorded this time was way too loud. So uh, like all of the commentary while we were playing the game is essentially unlistenable just because everything yeah. way overpowers it. I, I tried my best, but there was nothing I could actually do about it. We'll do better next time, guys. But yeah, for now, we'll just uh, kind of comment over the game. Um, so it should be a little interesting because now we know what happens. Kind but, of. I did uh, forget uh, since it has actually been a month in real time. Since. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, I don't actually remember what we were doing before this. So we left off right um, oh, after the chefs, actually. That's right. Okay, yeah. So there were two chefs that were trying to cook us, presumably, or, or kill us in some way. And uh, I was surprised because, I remember being surprised because we didn't kill him or, like, maim them anyway. Like, the first guy with the long arms, uh, we actually chopped his arms off. Uh, well, you know, there's uh, plenty of time for that. <laughs> yeah. As it turns out. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> that is actually what I said the first time, too. I just didn't know I was correct. <laughs> well, I don't actually... Well, We yeah. actually killed them, but... Um, so yeah, this is interesting. Uh, this I, is this the first time that we were no it, we confirmed before that we were actually on the ship. Yeah. Uh, well, we I kind of I think we assumed and but yeah, this is does make it clear uh, yeah. that. But it's interesting because it's actually like a flotilla of random monster ships. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I mean, you can see here one ship is coming to another ship. I suppose it could be like a platform. I'm not... Oh, we died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I paused it for some reason. I don't remember why. And then uh, I forgot that you had to hold on to the, the grab button. So we immediately fell off the chain and died. That's fun. It shows our real expertise with the game. Yeah, so I think this kind of... It doesn't... I guess it is sort of like a... Floating restaurant, huh? It's not. That's what it seems like. It's yeah, not really like standard ship shaped, ship shape, ship shape. Uh, yeah, and you guys will see the restaurant in a minute. We're not spoiling much by saying it's a restaurant. Yeah, um, I just kind of noticed the like actual architecture of the thing is like a kind of covered sort of house. Oh yeah, ship. It, it yeah, it looks like a turtle shell or dome of some kind. Uh, definitely didn't notice that the first time. Mm. Um, you can see that it's anchored kind of in the background, so um, yeah, my guess is that it's some kind of platform rather than like an actual ship. Did you ever hear much about like restaurant ships, like actual live, real life ones? Um, I think there are such things. Uh, my understanding is that uh, you could, like, I think I, we did one one time where you like met on the port and then you went out either on the ocean or the lake or the river or whatever and you essentially ate and you were just kind of stuck on the boat for like an hour or so and then you came back to port and left yeah there there was like a kind of boom of them and then from what i understand pretty much all of them eventually either uh like sank actually oh or just were decommissions because the like cost of renovating a restaurant ship was not worth actually doing it. <laughs> I mean, I've actually been on one, um, so it must still exist in some yeah. capacity. But yeah, de I, I, it's definitely not common. I think the, I think you either see like really like high class hoity toity type stuff now, mm. or just like literally just like a flat boat where you might have stuff on. Kind of as a, not like a full kitchen on, just like a. Oh yeah, yeah. Like a just kind of experience. Yeah, they they more like a airplane where they put the food on the boat right beforehand. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Once again, displaying our amazing feats of strength by ripping that plank off of presumably steel. Yeah. 
I don't know. Was it this one that I... Oh, oh. <laughs> this is where we had the great uh, shadow glitch? This lasted for quite a while, didn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, we were hoping that we'd go away in like the next screen, I but it lasted, to. so we just kind of restarted. So bear with us while we have this uh, cool shadow glitch going on. Yeah, we seem, I don't know, seem to have been extremely good at finding glitches in this game. But <sighs> I don't know if it's us or if it's just that's just how the game is. It's hard to say, you know? Yeah. Oh, this was cool. We get to see the, the geisha lady or whatever she is. Um... The lady in the background oh, for the mom. first time. Um, <laughs> Shadow glitch is really uh, really bad here. So this is where we decide to uh, just go ahead and restart. Yeah. I think um, it was in this recording that I mentioned that I thought I knew what the character's name was actually. Oh yeah, uh, we were talking about it at some point. Uh, what, do you remember what it was? I think it's either six or nine. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, and I didn't I didn't check to confirm in between last time and this time, so I don't I don't know. Yeah, and I, I was uh, supposing I think... that we uh, adopt an average, so we called her like seven and a half. That's right. Um, but I don't think we actually ended up calling her anything. I, I do think it's actually six. But I don't know. It's not ever stated in game. It just yeah, like some random. Oh new... my gosh, this shadow! Oh no, you got eaten. Oh no! I think that's the first time we actually straight up got eaten, didn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Lots of times we that you presume to have been killed, like put in an oven or just captured by the long arm man. But uh... yeah. Okay, so here we're restarting. Yeah. Oh. What do you know? All right, guys, we're back. Uh, this is just after the shadow glitch. We just kind of restarted the game just to... Um, oh. More visual glitches. But uh, those didn't last, so that's good. Uh, okay. So, yeah, this is... Uh, I was really excited um, back in that scene. Oh, we start here. Okay, so we'll get to see it again. Um, but I was really excited back in that scene uh, where you actually see the lady. Um, and I thought this was a really interesting thing in the game, is that you throughout the whole game you have these shadows, uh, sorry, statues of that woman, right? And so the whole time I'm playing this game, it never occurred to me that that was like a real person that we would find in the game. Hmm. And so I, when I saw her, I got so excited. I was like, oh, this is the girl from the statue! This is so exciting! <laughs> Yeah, we didn't, uh... We did you didn't... feel that way? Like, did you think about that at all? I didn't actually think about that, no. <laughs> I mean, did you think, like, this was going to be a character, or...? Yeah, I mean, it's... Well, I mean, I remember seeing her in the very opening scene. And I totally forgot about that opening! She shows up at the very <laughs> opening! Oh, yeah, I wanted to see if I could go down there, and you immediately die. <laughs> it's good to test these things out, like we said in the very beginning. Yeah. Yeah, so I totally forgot about that intro that where she shows up. Right. So, like, I saw that intro and totally forgot about it and then didn't associate her at all with the shadows, with the, the statues we found. Yeah. Mm, fish pies. Yeah. There's a ton of food on this restaurant. Mm. And presumably these people eat a ton of food. I like, guess he's not really eating has. it super efficiently, though. Yeah, he's just kind of gnawing on it. I guess he just likes the fat. I guess. It so, doesn't even look like they really cooked it that much. That's true. Alright. Apparently they don't have very good legs either. Would have been way faster to walk. Hmm. Jump! Very poor hunters, these fat people. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, this is... Th there were a lot of times in this game where I really felt like I did not know where to go. Yeah. I guess we don't need to wait to the credits to talk about it. So, you kind of mentioned you wanted to play more of a... Um, something that felt more, I don't know, tense the entire time? Next time we do a horror game? Yeah, um, I mean, I would classify this game certainly as a horror game. Um, but I don't think it... To me, it wasn't super scary. Um, there were some times, especially in the beginning, 
um, with the long armed man that were very jump scare and I, I thought were quite scary. He was very scary to me. Yeah, he was definitely the most threatening. Oh, definitely character in this game. Well, I'd say that the the geisha lady does get pretty scary. Yeah, that's fair. Um, and you'll you know we'll come to that. But um, but he's a very good uh, introduction, I think. But yeah, um, I feel like the horror really falls off after that. Yeah, even kind of where. You know, what a little gnome. Yeah, we didn't get to hug all the gnomes. We didn't collect all the statues. It's a it's a grave disappointment, but... Oh, we didn't? No, we missed a few. Oh. I know That's we missed, a like, a, yeah, a couple statues in the middle of chases and stuff. Oh. But it's, it's kind of, like, the weird thing about this game is that it's never at, like, any point that you actually feel that you... There's, like, a few points where there's, like, continuous chase, but a lot of time you just kind of get through a room and then you can explore for a while and yeah so the tension doesn't stay um, right you're never you're not the safety is a little bit like too guaranteed at times i guess yeah i guess that makes sense i also feel like it's just like hmm, how do i describe it um i don't know i guess like like times like this are kind of a good example. I feel like it's more, for me, when I was playing it, it's more about figuring out where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do instead of me thinking about, I guess, like the horror, or like the threat of death or whatever it is that makes the game scary. Sure. I'm more thinking about game mechanics than I am, I guess, like the environment that makes it scary. Yeah, I guess the... And it's weird, too, because it's not really a puzzle game so much yeah. as just, like, a find-the-correct-way thing. Right. But, like, throughout this whole area, here, example, we're, like, not even threatened. Yeah. So... It's only once we get on the counter that, you know, there's a possibility that I could lose. Right. Oof. And then, yeah, as soon as you get here, again, no threat of loss. Except I think I missed the jump. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to do it again. But, um... <laughs> yeah, there, there's, uh... Definitely tense moments in this game, but... Even then, like... It's I don't feel like they're scary. Like, I'm not scared of these people. Right, and... I mean, yeah, partially it's also just the repetition of... It doesn't have a good mechanic when you fail for keeping tension. Hmm. Um... Just because, yeah, like, it's the same thing you have to do, and at that point you know it, so... Right, like, yeah. Like, trial and error almost doesn't work for this game in the same way. Um, but in general, yeah, it's, it's more of a aesthetic kind of experience well, for and, me, uh, um, and I enjoy that. Yeah. Like... Yeah, this game definitely has a good aesthetic, and I also feel like the game does... A really good job of just like keeping wonder in it like right. up to this point in the game you still don't really know who you are what's going on like yes. the whole time I was playing this game I just wanted to know what happened next which is pretty amazing I think I keep trying to figure out what we're saying in the background. But... It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, no big deal. Um, so yeah, this is another time where it's like... We like... I think I know where I'm supposed to go, but I'm trying to see if there's any other yeah. way to go. And I was like, no, nah, you just gotta jump up on that thing, bud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess part of it is interesting in that there's not you don't have a goal the whole game yeah that's something that you usually it's just don't, progress you know it's something you usually don't like right in the game generally not um most of the time i'm very goal focused i like to be able to say okay this is what you're supposed to do this is where you're supposed to go yeah. oh this means that call back there. um but for some reason it works in this game I, I don't know maybe just because it's linear and you know like where you're supposed to go 
basically. To an extent, yeah. Um. So it's more like the goal is just progress. Like, yeah, you don't like like open world kind of no goal stuff, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, listen to our podcast. We have a podcast, uh, Next Level Gaming Podcast, and uh, we do a gaming club there where we talk about we play games and invite you to play them with us and we talk about them. Um, but we've done some games there where I haven't been so happy because of the lack of goals. Um, was that which one was that that? Oh, Transistor bothered you? Oh, yeah, Transistor, man. Like, you just don't know what's happening the whole game, but it's not, like, interesting or exciting. Oh, man, this took us forever. (laughs) This is fun. But, yeah, the look at this game is so incredible, like... I almost feel like it's better... I feel like, I honestly feel like the best experience of this game is watching a perfect walkthrough of it. Hmm. You don't have to deal with us uh, floundering about trying to figure out what to do. Well, like a, yeah, as a horror game specifically, like, watching someone do it perfectly, you don't, you don't get the repetition, so the scares, like... Scares are more The scares all hit you. Yeah. Um... Yeah, the they really it doesn't feel like there's like so much intended puzzle. I don't know. Do you think that the intention? Oh, this was really funny. The, what we figured out, <laughs> yeah, or what we, I, the conclusion I eventually came to was like that mirror is dead in the center of the room. You have to do something with it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like I guess yeah, I guess it has to have been an intention that like exploration to get the next point is the main like gameplay focus right um yeah i guess i just don't feel like it entirely works for me but i don't know at the same time i kind of personally enjoy that more so i don't know i mean yeah i would say that like i would say the gameplay is not great in this game it's more Uh, but like overall the environment the story um are, are good yeah, it's yeah. The gameplay itself is more my kind of whole deal in years, but even so, it does get repetitive and just frustrating because it's not very obvious. Um. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's more obvious than when it should be. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, we we also just like continuously overthink the situation. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. So we were thinking, like, not so much jumps, not necessarily, like, jump scare stuff, but just, I don't know, you wanted something that had more tension overall throughout it. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I don't have tons of horror game experience, so it's even hard to say, like, what I want specifically. Mm-hmm. But, um... I was considering, uh, maybe, like, Pathologic. Have you heard of this game? mm um, Tell me about it. It's... I think it's a game... Uh, where, like, a cult has sort of taken over some area, and it's kind of like a survival horror game. Okay. Um, so I don't think the terror necessarily happens through, like, jump scares type stuff, but it's a lot of, like, psychologically very difficult decisions you have to make, and from what I understand, it does it very well in that, Hmm. like, you have to make hard decisions to like, survive and try to, like, save different people, and you have limited oh, yeah. supplies and stuff. And so, like, you don't know what's, like, what you're going to have to sacrifice at any point with any decision, and it's very yeah. good at balancing that. So I think that might uh, be an interesting one to try. Yeah, that sounds uh, good. The second game just came out. Oh. Um, and there's, the first one was kind of like a cult classic. Okay. Um... The second one, I understand, is very good. Um, okay. Probably didn't get... People have been saying it didn't get as much press as it deserved at the time, which is kind of always sad to hear. Do you know how old the game is? I haven't uh, heard of it. Um, the first game... I mean, it's at least a couple years old oh, okay. at this point. I have the first game. I didn't know... Oh, cool. Maybe we could try that out and eventually get to the second one. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, um, we also had started uh, 
Sam and Max hit the road. Would you like to continue that, or how do um, you feel about that? I don't know. I mean... It's very uh, old-school point-and-click adventure. I, th- I think it'd be fun. The point... Uh, kind of the point of the channel was that we were going to switch on and off horror and other stuff, but uh, it's kind of like a life schedules haven't yeah. quite worked out. I mean, specifically, you had a baby, so you know, yeah. you got to deal with... You know what, guys? Babies take some time. Yeah, babies take some time. Yeah. Um, you also have a full-time job, so it's not like, you know, this is important. We don't have any viewers. It doesn't really matter. It's not paying your bills. <laughs> um, we don't have any viewers yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I don't know. Um, I guess I can't change the name of the channel at the point. I mean, I guess I could. We don't have any viewers, right? <laughs> I, no, I'm not going to go through the effort of it. So. No, no, no. I, I still like the idea of Mood Swingers. And, you know, we were both talking about mood doing... Mood Swingers. <laughs> mood Swing? What is it called? Mood Swing. Mood Swing. So we're the Mood uh-huh. Swingers. We, we finally figured. solved the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> we're the worst. Uh, um, so, yeah. Uh, I, I like the idea of the channel. Maybe we'll do it eventually. It. But for now, it, it looks like for now, maybe it might just be we get together when we can. And... I'm going to be slowly going insane by myself. Otherwise, uh, I'm hoping to. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping that we'll both start releasing some solo content. We both have time to play games by ourselves. Yeah, uh, so it's just a lot harder to do it together. So, Sai has started playing several single-player games that you've already put up on the um, channel. Yeah, um, I'm looking through like the itch.io platform. Um, which so the reason I looked and wanted to look into it, I explained in another video, but. Um, I had, I follow like several developers on like social media sometimes, and one of them Screw mentioned you, statue. <laughs> one of them mentioned that this platform um, does like generally does good things for exposure for like new developers. Um, a lot of the stuff is just like fl- kind of like new groundsy type flash games, mm. honestly. But hey, those can be tons of fun. Well, I spent a, a lot of time on new grounds yeah. back in the day. But there's a lot of stuff that, you know, will go on eventually to get b- bigger platforms. Um, I'm about to record something called Art School, which I know is on Steam also, but may have originated on Itch. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, developers, some developers have said that it has, like, a better relationship with uh, small developers, and huh. I'm just you know interested in what's... Oh Ooh. no! Yeah, was, Scary mask guy! Yeah, that was kind of upsetting the first time you see it. Yeah. There's really a lot less tension when you're uh, <laughs> just having a chat over this rather than like actually trying to figure stuff out, to be honest, but... <laughs> oh, this was a weird thing. This was weird even when it happened. Just like the wave of people trying to eat you. That was fun. Swear. Yeah. I mean, they have, like, so much food, and you don't think they'd... Yeah, like, if I'm at a restaurant, I do not want to chase live me. What a very good, nice uh, musical sting there, though. Yeah, that was nice. Oof. Big hat. (laughs) Oof. Um... So, I mostly play a lot of multiplayer games, uh, things like Street Fighter, uh, StarCraft, yeah. uh, Warcraft. I've recently, uh, I just got uh, Age of Empires 2. Um, oh, no. So, yeah. my whole thought is that I essentially make compilations of me generally not do, being very good, but still really liking multiplayer games. Mm. So, I was just complaining here that, you know, just ran back past all that food and she hadn't even bothered to take a bite. I know, it was ridiculous. There was a ton of food that we passed by even when we weren't in immediate threat of death. Yeah, and then uh, then this happened. Yeah. We won't spoil it. Yeah, the the music cue kind of uh, gives away what's about to happen here, but... Yeah. Oh no! Oh no, we were... This is where we learned we're the monster the whole... After all... We're one of the monsters. Just every... It's just monsters all the way down. 
Yeah. Except for the gnomes. No. I guess the gnomes. Gnomes are the only not monsters. Cool, dude. Um, so there's a second game. There is a second game. Or a DLC, technically. I... Oh, yeah. You, you started talking about this when we recorded the video. Uh, so it's out? This, the DLC? Or oh, yeah. The it's, been, it's been out. Okay. It's been out. Um, it was actually released as a series of episodes. Oh, the Geisha. Should I call her a geisha? Should I call her something else? Um, I guess she's she looks made like up geisha. like a geisha. Broke another doll. Um, yeah, so you play as a different character. Oh. So maybe we'll have another chance to befriend gnomes without vampiring them. Cool. That would be nice. Let's we'll put that on our list of games to play. Yeah. It's like the quickest we solved the puzzle in this yep. game. It's like we know just what to do with buttons now. Yeah. Spend a ton of time on it. Last time we had a, or the first time we had a button. So. Yep. Yay! We beat the guest area. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, I don't know. We could do Max Sam and Max as our next one. Do you want to continue that? Hold on. Uh, I think uh, we're taking a break here. Okay. Um. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this commentary. Uh, we'll be back soon with the next video. Uh, stay tuned.